Good old Barry. The flaming eye of Mordor. Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. <sighs> Another fucking dead damn thing. I hate that. I hate that a lot. Right. Ah, yes. Most of your night running uphill while the crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe. You know your helicopter crash landed in uh, Night Springs. Eventually, I'm s going to take oh, that from you. Here we go again. Here we go what oh, again? Sure. I should have kept that gym You membership. see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. Okay. Good to know. I know. You can't be a good fight. Yeah, Al! There's only two of them. Nothing moves like that. It's impossible. Oh no, it's possible. Ow! Do something. Oh no, they can get shot. Thank you. See, they're dead. You guys, Was fucking one. Are we safe? Yes. Wow, I think we're okay. Awesome, lovely, great. Let let's get to the elevator, please. I got a bad feeling. Shut we'll it. Keep our eyes open. Barry, you better shut the fuck up. There's there's times where you need to keep being helping of that. Oh, I can't take much more of this. Hold on. The taken are filled with darkness. No shit, Sherlock. Thank you. Coffee. Wake. Call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. Oh. Something moving around. Oh. I, mean, I could go up the stairs. This motherfucker. Heads up. Here they come. <sighs> oh, no. oh no. They're coming. We have to hold them off. Yeah, let's do more waves, please. You guys got this. Right. Oh, I have this. Completely forgot about that. Completely disregarded this. Oh, right. Oh, fuck. Ow. Really? What else were we supposed to do? Just hold on. Oh yeah, because I'm not the one. I'm the one complaining. All right. I love when that guy just. Oh, thank God! Run the light. Actually, no. What? Ow! Hit the button. Okay, fine. Here, I hit the button. Ugh. Fucking scrub. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something. <laughs> she's crazy. But there's something to fix this. Gee. Could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Yep. And he wrote himself out of existence. 
Because that apparently makes sense. Oh yeah, of course! Coffee! <laughs> It'd be funny if you could walk down all the way and you're able to walk the whole way up. That would have been hilarious. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? We waited there for no reason. Okay, Wake. There's a button over there that opens the door. Yay! More defense! <sighs> I hate this thing so much at times. It's like... It, it's annoying. It's friggin' annoying. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Uh, but the hold the button down. Gonna hold the whole way. <laughs> ah! Mother. Oh, wait. What's going on? We can get Fucker. Through here. What's happening out there? You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Oh, lovely. No promises. No promises. Oh, lovely. You gotta be kidding me. No. Not having that. We are not having this. Told you we're not having that. Down, boy. Yeah. See, he's not having it, and we don't have to worry about manuscript pages. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed, and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence. He added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Well, how do you know it's his shoebox, though? How does he know? Do you, like, write, like, oh, yes, Zane's shoebox. You know, he just wrote it. Just, you know, say A and E. Box. Box. If you, if you didn't know what I was doing, I was kind of writing with the Mouse. Hopefully you got it. Oh, okay. That's not a bad trek. <gasps> Can I hop on the pipe? Can I walk? Oh. Eh, that works. Oh, damn. Mother fuck! Uh, nah, not you guys again. Jesus! A high powered flashlight for reasons, buddy. Just for you to fuck off. Nope. See? Simple. Nothing attack me. Please, nothing attack me. Please, nothing attack me. Ow. Sorry. Okay. We're fine, right? This can be a hobby or a job. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Alright, now what? Gonna rev it. Any more? Oh, hi. Is that it? Is that it? Nope, 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 no, it's not.
Okay, fine. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah! Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, God! <gasps> oh, shit. Down, squish it out. Run! Oh god! Holy shit, that lucky chump. Wall of room, yeah! No! Oh, Jesus! What do you think I'm trying to do? Do Macarena? Ah! Light! Okay, I'm good. Cheers. You made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. It was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. Yeah. I have looked after the well lit room for many, many years now. There's no shadow in the well lit room. The power is fail safe. All the globes are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Oh, okay. Right. The... Good job. Good. Good job. I'm proud of you. I think. There's an old army base at Raid Cove Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Huh. Not shadow, 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 all the shadows. No, I'm joking. <laughs> We're good. We're good. We're fine. Ooh. That is a vault. Looks like we're going to Fort Knox, guys. Or. I won't need to worry about the room anymore because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. That's good. What's this? The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. And 
that's the end of episode 5. Now, now we're going to get into a very, very interesting part next time. But thank you guys for watching. Join me as we finish off the game. Well, sort of. I mean, we're going to finish off the main story and then go through the, uh, the what's it called? The... It's nice music, too. And then we'll go into the two specials, or DLC in this case. But until then, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.